Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We'll see Detroit and Alba Berlin. Go. So Detroit will get the first possession. Outside, Billups. He feeds it to Hamilton. Inside. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And they are on the board first. Trying to set the tone here early. I like that. Here's McLean, who's guarded by Billups. Radosevich. No luck. Prince with the defensive effort. Hamilton dishes to Billups. Feeds to Prince. The shot is off. So Alba will take it the other way. And King, here we go. And the shot is good. That's a terrific move to the basket. The defense played that one well, but it didn't make any difference. We're about one minute into the first. Stolen. And they're on the break. Here's McQueen, and they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. First trip to the free-throw line for him tonight. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Outside, Billups. Pushing it up. Here's Hammonds, and a little luck that time, but it drops. And really smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Showed nice basketball IQ. I agree, Greg. I mean, if he finds his spot on the perimeter and doesn't force it, I think his outside shot will be hard to block no matter who's defending it. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Took the safe route there. Wasn't about to do anything that would get him in trouble on that one. Nope. Up and in with one hand, the most basic finish possible. But he still makes it look good. Radosevich's shot is good. Four or five shots have dropped for them already. Not a bad way to get things started. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. Detroit's head coach and I got a chance to talk for a bit. We talked about the keys in preparing for this game, and he said, well, defense is always our first priority. And while we don't want our shot blockers risking foul trouble, having that backstop does enable our perimeter guys the freedom to play up and aggressive. So Kevin, pressure game and shot blocking, something to look out for. Thank you very much, Doris. So it's mainly about defense for them early on. Yeah, and it won't just be early. I mean, it'll be about D all game long. Yeah, and he made that point very clearly and emphatically to Doris and his players. I think we're gonna see an intense defensive performance today. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. And stolen by Prince. He kicks it to Hamilton. Knocks it down from seven feet. And it looks like he might just be on his A game today, Clark. Elbow leading by four. And stolen by Billups. Teams will make substitutions. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. It's Rip Hamilton on the way. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. 129 left in the first quarter. King, right side, pulls up from the corner. Can't hit. Now the Pistons take it the other way. 
guys uh, they've been getting it done. They sure have been. I mean really looking good and sharp offensively. They came out with a mission and they have been tough to stop. And that one's good. I like the recognition of the mismatch there immediately making the defense pay. Pass to Radosevich. Here's McLean. Lays it up and banks it in. He's got five. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. And a clever pass fake kept the D from closing in. Hamilton's got eight. Great start for him. 4-4. Four, four. He could be in for a big game. Certainly looks that way to me, partner. I mean, his energy level is ramped up. I think he's been terrific right from the opening tip. No problems knocking that one down. Pistons trail by three. And here is Billups. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Passes it to Campbell. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. It's almost as if both teams are in a zone. Well, offensively at least, partner. I mean, neither team's done Jack Diddley on D. Ladies and gentlemen, team. Up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. You guys, what's your take on the home team so far? I just like the way they're getting out in the open floor, taking advantage of all those fast break chances here early on. I agree with you, Greg. I mean, they can run, and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. Here's Billups, and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Billups has got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Pistons. To the paint. Here's Volfart. Giffe, first shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten in the first half here. And I think they should continue to work the ball down low, Clark. It's really going to free up their outside shooting. Now here is Hamilton. He's guarded closely. That one goes. Counted. Milicic has got the lead up to two now for the Pistons. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse for him. Nice stroke from long range. And if he keeps getting those opportunities, he better take them. Hamilton outside. Pass to Milicic. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul. And he'll make him earn them from the line. And that's what you want to see. Tayshawn Prince has checked in for Chauncey Billups. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Hammonds. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. No clue how he got that one to fall. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through, Greg. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. Pistons trail by four. Hunter, the pass to Prince. Here's Campbell. It's hauled in by Alba. Now, nice work there to contest the finish inside. You know, they got the shot they wanted, but his defense, I mean, deterred them from those plans. And very little fight put up by the defense as he made his way to the bucket for the jam. They did seem to take the cautious approach, Greg, when it came to defending that one. You're right. And, guys, it's not the time for caution now. I mean, they've got to be aggressive and take some risks to see if they can cut that lead down. Prince in the corner. Just five to shoot. Wide open shot is on the money. Prince has got six. Pretty, pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. King outside. Three-pointer. And he gets it to go. Eight points for him. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. Pistons passing it around. The shot misses. Elbow leading by seven. Now the pass to Hammonds. 
Wagner, Campbell defender. Kick out to King. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Well, there's hot guys, and then there's really hot. They just can't miss. You know, Greg, sometimes you'll see an individual guy go on a shooting tear like this, but the whole squad? Wow. Ben Wallace, he's checked in for the Pistons. That's his first personal foul. Substitution. One fifty-seven left in the second quarter. There's the pick. Hamilton outside. Let's the three fly. Second chance shot. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Alba. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And that's what's created a rhythm for them offensively. That's also why you see them knocking down that mid-range jump shot. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Another three for Alba. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Here's Campbell. Got a hand on it. To the paint and stolen by Prince. They've got the five on three advantage. Now here's Waltz. D right on him. Campbell shots good. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. And Clark, it's a strategy that has served them well during the course of this first half. And he gets the bucket. And I like the job they've done with working basketball. They've been moving and getting quality shots. And Greg, their field goal percentage reflects that. I mean, they've been the much better team shooting the ball. And you know me, shooting percentage, always a function of shot selection. The screen from Campbell. Hunter, the pass to Prince. The feed to Wallace. Tries from 10. And it falls over the rim and in. Wallace has got five points now this quarter. And, and I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfectly. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Now here is Hamilton. He's got eight. Wallace misses. And we finished one. start here in just a few moments. Pistons trail by seven. Billups kicks to Prince. There's a good screen. Dishes to Hamilton. Billups passes to Hamilton. Back to Billups. Takes the three. Good. Johnson. Billups has got the first basket of the third quarter for the Pistons. What are they thinking leaving him with all that space out there? Do they not know have they not heard that this guy is unbelievable? That's a layup for him. Nice move and finish. I think the halftime break really gave him a second win. Friends outside. Back to Billups. Wallace dishes to Hamilton. Shoots from 14. It's hauled in by Alba. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Renfro. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. And, folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of flair. Uh, he sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. I'll tell you what. He may not be the biggest man in the league, guys, but he more than makes up for that lack of size with amazing aerial skills. 
Here's McLean, and he spins it one-handed. Tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, well I'll tell you what, I'm glad he didn't, because otherwise we'd probably have a 45-minute delay here if he shattered the backboard. Elbow leading by six. Hammonds passes to Rydosevic. Here's McLean. That one's good from the corner. 12 points for him. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. Billups kicks to Prince. Back to Billups. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. Pass to Rydosevic. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. And he is the ultimate when it comes to being a floor leader on the offensive end. Yeah, you know, he's got a little bit of Greg Anthony in it. And he has been that leader today. And I think he's done a really nice job of moving the ball and, and distributing it the way it needs to be done. Well, Clark, I'm glad you referenced uh, specifically why you thought he had a little Greg Anthony. I thought you were talking about my knees, my man. <laughs> he, uh, he looked a little hobbled out there for a moment. It's stolen by Milicic. Billups with the ball. Seven points in the game. A look from Hamilton. The offensive rebound. Milicic. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Just lazy defense on the glass there. Well, nobody boxed out. Nobody put a body on anybody else. Things like that not only drive the coach crazy, that stuff gets under my skin. He had a nice open look right there. He's got 17. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Phillips dishes to Hamilton. To the middle, here's Wallace. Here's Milicic, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. He's 0 of 2 at the line in this one. He's off on the first, and it's a completely new group for Alba. Detroit also making some changes. Campbell comes in for Wallace, and Hunter subbed in for Hamilton. And he's good on the second. Elbow leading by six. Inside. It's good, and he threw contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. For Alba, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And the free throw, no good. Left side, Billups. No good from Campbell. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. That's his first personal foul, second team foul. Alba shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. At the line for two. That free throw, no good. Second free throw, no good. Pistons trail by eight. Here's Prince. Good on the baseline, Jay. Prince has got eight. 105 left in the third. Here's Vargas. There's the killer two-handed slam. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throwdown. And Clark, now's the time to do it. Continue to attack that rim. Hunter, the pass to Milicic. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. Vargas misses off the right iron. You know what? You just cannot get much better of a look than that one. Exactly. Look at that. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented. For plays just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, he did. I tell you what, the great dunk, and then this is even a better game we got going on right now. And that last replay, courtesy of Kia. Three pointer, and another three for Detroit. And they're just raining. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well contested game.
Elbow leading by four. Here's Radosevic. Well timed pass, and it goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Boy, this game has really started to heat up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Well, I tell you what, I don't mind it. You don't either, it sounds like. Good offense is entertaining, and that's exactly what we're getting. Got a piece of it. And here's the fast break. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Chauncey Billups. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for Alba. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. They've also jumped on any opportunity they've had to attack the basket tonight. I mean, excellent penetration. To the paint. Here's Campbell. The basket good off the assist from Billups. Billups has got his fourth assist in this one. Balanced scoring Clark for him. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting yeah. a touch. Everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the court. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watch it. Okay, <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. <laughs> you, need, you might want to cut down on that sugar intake, though, Clark. But anyway, everybody's been involved in this offense here early on, and it has a way of helping you defensively. <laughs> Elbow leading by seven. Down low, here's McLean. Soft touch off the glass. 19 points in the game. Sound offensively. Really no other way to put it here in the second half. There's no, really no comparison between the teams in terms of the way they both shot the ball since the break. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. Hammonds passes to Rigosevich again. Alba. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. Pistons trail by nine. Hamilton outside. Wallace a screen. Hamilton outside. And the Pistons with possession here. Campbell kicks to Billups. And another three for Detroit. You've got to be in his jersey before he catches it. You've got to deny him a catch. Otherwise, he'll hurt you from deep. To the wing right side. Here's Renfro. Another three for Alba. Alex Renfro. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Campbell. And yes, a nice assist from Billups. He's really done a nice job taking advantage of his opportunities in this half. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, I agree. Got to use some clock here. Here's King. Makes the most of the high percentage shot. King's got the lead up to nine now for Alba. Got himself into really good position there. Can't pass that shot up, guys. Nice shot by Wallace. Wallace has got four points this quarter. That's what they're hanging their hat on today, fellas. Hard nose, smash mouth play down on the low block. Old fashioned, isn't it, my man? Old fashioned. Pound the rock basketball, and it is definitely working for them. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. And now just a five point elbow lead. And Elba calls a timeout. They're up by five. There's a minute 40 left here in the fourth quarter. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hi, guys. I got a chance to hear what the home team head coach was saying to his players. He wants to make sure they stay assertive and aggressive on the offensive end, saying, I don't want to sit on this lead. Let's build on it and not give them a chance of coming back. Guys? Here's Prince. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effectively. You just cannot allow the offense to have that quality of a look 
each and every possession. And so it looks like Alba will retain possession here. Risky pass in a situation like that. Very lucky that wasn't a steal. Fortunate to get it through. I thought he was headed the other way with that one. Now off the inbound. And that one's good, Hammonds. And Alba leads by five. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. One twelve left in the fourth quarter of this one. Wallace a screen. Hamilton dishes to Billups. Kicks it to Milicic. And the foul called on Alba. Now a timeout called by Detroit. They're trailing by five. 59 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Fifty nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. That's good. And they'll be counting on even more points from him. That's essential if they're going to pull this game out. Shoots from 14. Here's Radosevic. It's in. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Fifty two seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's Prince on the wing. There's the dish to Wallace. Second shot opportunity. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. And I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. You know, I think that's probably a smart move. I think so, too. Thirty seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Hamilton. Nails it! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. 23 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Well, yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game out. Exactly. I mean, got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. Here's Hammonds. Here's Radosevich. Sinks it. You just no let up, guys. They just keep coming at you. Well, this lead is too big to overcome. I'm going out on the limb right now. There's just not enough time left in the, on the clock to make up the ground they have to make up. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Shoots. Connects. <laughs> And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Here's Hammonds. And an intentional foul right there. And no good is the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. A three-pointer would be huge right now. Boy, a chance to tie it up with the game on the line. This is what we live for. I want to see what happens right here. And Elba calls a timeout. <laughs> Off the inbound pass. The three won't fall. Regulation is ended and we're heading to overtime and will return shortly. Well, if you're just joining us, this one has been a great one. We've got overtime action now, folks. And here's Elvin. Pass to Vargas, fires from deep, and the shot is good. Vargas. 
Pistons trail by three. Here's Hunter. Tipped away. And here comes the break. Hammers it home to polish off the break. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. That indicates the importance of great on-the-ball defense, as was displayed right there. To the middle. And he says, right back at you with a big dunk of his own. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move, too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. And, and I'm not sure if it was text or email, but he definitely threw that one down. Locked and loaded tonight. Whenever he's got any kind of a decent look, he's knocked it down. Well, Sands his lights out shooting. They'd be staring at a huge deficit. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Hamilton outside. Again, the Pistons score. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. Here's Hammonds. Here's McLean. Another three for Alba. We're in overtime and 90 seconds gone here in what has been a great one so far. Down low. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. Yeah, and in a close game, though, guys, those could be really important points. Good. And Alba leads by four. Now the Pistons with it. Inside, here's Wallace. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark with the hoop for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on. Are you kidding me? How could this get any better? A brilliant play defensively at the most crucial time. And you love to see games played this well. It's not just about making shots. It's about making plays, particularly on the defensive end. Out to the wing. Here's Radosevic. Count it! As much a shot as I have ever seen. In a word, gutsy. Now Hamilton looking for Wallace. He gets it there. Yes! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. The pass to Vargas and stolen by Hamilton. To take the lead. Rebound by Hammonds. Absolutely critical chance right here. They need this one to go their way. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. No good from outside. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. The Pistons making a change here. Phillips is checked in. Time they've got a chance to take the lead. By far the biggest possession of this game. So it's the Pistons now. And here's Hamilton. He dishes it to Milicic. 
Here's Wallace. Oh, missed it. I mean, you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. the second one and that gives them the lead even with the miss he got the big one there to put him in front and Elba calls a timeout they're trailing by one three seconds left to play in the first overtime what do you think guys it's come down to this one shot to win the game they have just enough time to catch the ball make a quick pass and then get it airborne and stolen by Hamilton. And there's the whistle called a clear path foul there. Yep. And he'll shoot two at the line. First, and that will put them up by two. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. That ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those freebies. And so it's the Pistons who come out on top here. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, Clark, but things finally came together for him in overtime. Looked 